What's up, everybody? As you may know, two new versions of firmware for Asterisk PBX have been released in July. With the firmware version 30.8.0.8 and later, you're able to enjoy three more added features. One key lock in and monitoring status of dynamic agents. Multicast paging and email template for voicemail to email and fax to email. So guys, what are the more functions and configurations? Catch up please, let's jump in right now. First of all, let's see one key login and monitoring status of dynamic agents. With one key login, a dynamic agent can easily log in or out of a queue by pressing the same BLF key on his IP phone. No need to set two BLF keys for log in and log out respectively. What's more, for the admin of queue, he can also set a BF key on his IP phone to monitor the status of dynamic agents in the queue intuitively and easily. Alright, let's move on to see the settings. Mind that only those IP phones supporting BF key can try this new feature. We would take e-link phone as an example. The steps will be a little bit different according to IP phones brands and models. Say, we have a Dynamic Agent 2000 in Q6000, as well as an Admin 1000. The Dynamic Agent wants to use one key login on his IP phone. So, first, log in to the web interface of the agent's IP phone. Get to the BLF key setting part, choose a key, set the type to BLF. In value, enter the feature code asterisk 75, plus the queue number in this format which will be asterisk 75 and Q number. So we enter asterisk 75, 6000. Last, choose the account which has been registered to the PBX as the 2000. Save and apply all the configurations. Now, we're able to use one key login. Press the BLF key we just set. We will hear prompt announcing successfully logging. Agent logged in. Goodbye. Then, press once again to log out. We will also hear the prompt announcing successfully log out. Agent logged off. Goodbye. If the admin wants to monitor the status of Dynamic Agent 2000 at present, first, log in to the web interface of the admin's IP phone. Turn to the BLF key setting page. Choose a key set the type to BLF. In value, just enter the feature code, the agent's extension number, and the queue number in this format, which will be asterisk 75, extension number, and queue number. So we're going to enter asterisk 75, 2000, asterisk 6000. Choose any account which has been registered to the same PBX. That's all on the admin's phone. Now, we can check the Agent 2000 status via the BLF LED. If the BLF LED turns red, it means the Agent 2000 has logged in the queue. If it turns green, it indicates the agent has logged out of the queue. However, if it's off all the time, check your configuration and make sure the BLF key has been set correctly. Mind that the BLF key LED color in this case is only an example. It may display in different way on different IP phones. The next added feature is multicast paging. This feature allows you to easily and quickly broadcast instant audio announcements to phone users at the same time, with only a few resources consumed on the PBX. For example, if you have deployed an S20 with 20 extension users and 10 concurrent calls at most, now you want to have 10 employees receive the broadcasting. Usually, that makes 10 concurrent calls necessary. And in the meanwhile, other users can't make any call. A big headache, right? But with multicast paging, you don't have to worry about that anymore because it will only occupy one concurrent call, sparing lots of resources for the PBX. What you need is just setting a multicast IP address on the PBX. And all the IP phones who are listening to the same multicast IP address will receive audio announcements to the paging group. 
Now please mind that the multicast paging is one-way audio call, and the IP phones receiving one-way multicast paging should support multicast paging feature. Clear about the feature now, let's move on to the settings. On the PBX, create a new paging and select one-way multicast paging. Then, enter the multicaster IP address and port. The allowed range of multicaster IP address is 224 .0 .0 .0 to 239.255.255.255.255. Say, we set it to 224.255.255.255 and port is 1000. The same IP and port should be set on the IP phone later. Save and apply all these configurations. Go to the IP phone's web interface. Still take a link phone as an example. Turn to the multicast listening section and enter the same multicast IP address and port of the paging. Save the configurations. Our job is done. Afterwards, when someone calls to the paging, all the IP phones sharing the same multicast IP address will automatically answer the call into speakerphone mode. The last feature is email template. Now we've made the template of voice to email, fax to email to you, so you can modify the subject and contact as you prefer. Alright guys, so here's our new features on the S-Series new firmware, so why don't you just try these three new features if they meet your need. And guys, please leave us your comment down below here, alright? And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel if you are not already. I will see you guys in the next one.